Welcome to a little sneak peek inside the design of Zoe and my dream home. This has been an incredible journey. It's taken over two years for us to renovate and like anybody else who has been renovating, you're plagued with overages, timeline changes, supply chain problems. We would order all of the finishes, all of the materials, and then a month later have to reorder 90% of it because it's no longer available. But we worked with so many amazing partners who helped us get through that process. We also want to answer as many questions as you guys can throw at us. So thank you for submitting all your questions. We've got some cool stuff to show you, but we're excited because after this long journey, we now have a home that is ready to entertain and it's a green home. We are LEED certified. We actually came in 500% better than the platinum rating for LEED certification, which means it's an incredibly environmentally conscious, eco-friendly, efficient home. Um, and it'll use very, very little grid power, which is exciting for us too. So uh, I'm gonna jump right in, give you some questions, but I also wanna make sure you realize in this series of videos, we are gonna tour you through all of the spaces that you were asking about, show you lots of details. This is essentially like the best of the best parts of any of our shows because you're getting straight to the beauty shots. And then I'll give you some of the details. So questions first. First question came from Rebecca on Instagram. She asked, how did Zoe and I decide on the theme that we decorated with? Um, in reality, the house dictated it for us because it's a historic home. It's, you know, almost 100 years old, built in 1938. And uh, we're not really modern people. We, we like that traditional aesthetic, something really classic. And we wanted it to be that when you walked into this house, it would look like everything was from 1938. So whether it was, you know, the species of wood that we chose for everything, whether it was some of the details like the panel moldings, it was all inspired by the original architect who is Gerard Colcord. And um, so you'll see also a lot of things like, you know, Gothic arches throughout, um, even above the door we have on the window, Gothic arches. Uh, these were all very prevalent in his designs. And over the years, there had been some renovations, some additions that have been done, and it kind of, ruined or it negatively affected what I think Gerard Colcord's original vision was. So we tried to take everything back, simplify those lines, make it beautiful like it would have been in the beginning. And I even let Zoe run with most of the finishing choices because she has incredible taste. Uh, that allowed me to focus on all the architectural details and the construction details. So great question, Rebecca. Kelly had a question about why did we choose this house? Uh, we, this actually wasn't even my first choice. When, when we were looking at houses, uh, Zoe was leaning toward this one, I was leaning toward another one. We toured the other one first and there was so much work that would have to happen. Half of the property was on a ravine, so it was unusable. And really with all the work we would do, it still wouldn't be super functional for us. As soon as we walked in here, the serenity on this property is incredible. The vibe in the house was so cool. There was so much history. It was beautiful. It just needed some updates. Um, and like I said, the way we wanted to update was do it in a classic way so it would be authentic to the era of the home. But it, it's the same when any of our friends have come over. Everyone says that as soon as you walk in, there's just this inviting vibe. Like the house is just giving you a big bear hug, welcoming you in, but also it still just feels unique and eclectic and that's exactly what our style is. Thank you for all the questions. So many more answers to come as we go through this entire video tour. You're gonna to see all kinds of spaces from the first impression with our front entry into the solarium, which I absolutely love, our dining room, the beautiful kitchen, our family room, Zoe's suite and her craft room. We're gonna take you upstairs into the main suite, show you our bedroom, the bathroom, and then we're gonna take you out to the pool so we can also show you our gorgeous outdoor kitchen. All of this, and we'll answer a ton more of your questions. I'm gonna post a video a day on Instagram. Keep asking those questions because I'm gonna answer even more questions on social media. So thank you for being a part of this. It's gonna be a fun tour.